Gloria, as, as many people know, you sadly lost your daughter, Karen, uh, after a seven-year battle with, with breast yes, cancer. Yes, uh, just over seven years, actually. And much earlier on, although they were going absolutely for cure at the beginning with a very small lump, um, one doctor gave her a prognosis of a year and a half. And yet she survived seven and a half years, which was fantastic, largely due to attitude. And that's what I feel with the whole audience today and their rocks, because it's attitude. And I remember um, when Karen was first diagnosed, I mean, the shock, because she was only in her early 30s. And at that time, I personally didn't know any woman in her early 30s who had cancer. So it was a complete shock. And her doctor and ourselves thought it was just a milk lump having had a baby a few months prior. Yeah. Mm. And so that's the way, you know, it's that let's say fair thing, oh, it's just a lump and I shouldn't be here and shouldn't have this tested, all of that. Um, but then it became very clear that um, she was being so positive and rightly so about it, and that's how she fought it. But I, as her mother, of course, was devastated. And I remember waking up in the middle of the night once, some months into her diagnosis, thinking to myself, if I don't tap into her positivity, you know, I could be under the bus long before anything, mm. you know, may happen to but her. But you were her rock, Gloria. Well, I'd like to think I was, because the thing is, as her mother, as a mother, you, you're so used to going there, 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 you're going to be fine, and you mm. put the sticking plaster on it. And, yes, I hope... Uh, but also her husband was her rock. We called Russ Saint Russ, oh. because he was sensational. You know, they, they travelled, they went different places, you know, they went to live in Cornwall for a while, and... Then they went to Australia for a while, and of course, as an Irish mother, you don't want your daughter anywhere around the corner, I mean, any further around the corner, <laughs> never mind dealing with cancer. So when she went to Australia, when they went, I couldn't quite understand why she had to go that far away. But there's a point I want to pick up on, on what other people have said. When that doctor says to you, you've had your treatment, you've had your mastectomy, <laughs> you've had all your radiotherapy, etc., go and live your life. Karen said, I don't know what to do now. I see a lady nodding in the audience. You think, I don't know quite what to do because you've had your treatment. You think, how do I go forward? So Karen went forward with that positivity and we all tried to help her in this because she thought that all the feel-good factors, of course, not dangerous ones, but just, you know, ones that were tested, cleansing your blood, uh, helping your immune system, all of that gave her a purpose to yeah. lead her mm. life as best she could to beat the cancer. And I think that's really important. Uh, do you tap into that, Elizabeth? Absolutely. And a lot of the ladies in our book um, afterwards mm. talk about exactly that. They suddenly feel very much a loose end mm. when the treatment is over mm. and they have to learn to yes. live as a survivor. And some people say it was never... I think Paula said it's never quite the same again once you've... No. no, it wasn't Paula. Somebody else said. It was, <laughs> that, that once you've had cancer, you never quite feel the same way again. Even if you're a survivor, that um, you've beaten the odds. And yes, Karen used to say, oh, well, what's that on the other breast? Is that something else? Or what's that mm. in my throat? Yeah. You're always sort of thinking, yeah, I'm sure. is it something else? Mm. But nevertheless, I do, I do believe, and I know that a lot of you in the audience tap into this completely, I think that trying to deal with it with positivity as much as you can sure. is really, really important. Yeah. Yeah. And doing what you can for your body you know, to once you've had your initial treatment, to actually get yourself back up to strength. Stay Absolutely. healthy.